Dozens of local artists have transformed all kinds of doors into works of art to help make home ownership a reality for working families. Here's Tess. Machosan artist Deborah Bernier loves to incorporate nature into her sculptures. Well, I feel like when I start with a piece of driftwood, there's already a story in the wood. It's been carved by the elements of nature. Deborah's been sculpting and creating almost her entire life. My earliest memories are of digging in the sand when I was a little girl and I would find clay underneath the layers of sand. I would bring buckets of clay home and make little creatures. And Turning her passion into a business, these are just some of the incredible creations Deborah sculpted. It's very intuitive. I don't need to think about it. It's like dancing or walking in the forest. I really wanted to capture some energy in the piece, but also the dreaminess of the moon and the night. And even though she doesn't normally paint, Deborah decided to take on the challenge of turning a door into art for Habitat for Humanity Victoria's Open a Door fundraiser. It's a charity art auction. Um, so what we've done is asked community artists, whether amateur or professional, to come select a door from one of our two restores here in Victoria and turn it into a piece of art. A total of 48 artists are taking part, transforming doors of all shapes and sizes into something beautiful. Two, one. To help build missing middle housing and put home ownership back within the reach of working families. The cost of housing has just gone so high, it's making things unaffordable for a lot of people. Habitat is the only charity or nonprofit that works towards helping people with affordable home ownership. Um, and so we're really trying to push that forward with the councils and the folks that make these decisions to help us move more quickly to get these things built faster. Habitat Victoria's newest project is Ferguson Place, an affordable 14-unit townhouse development in the Gordon Head neighbourhood of Saanich. And right now our plans are in with the Saanich Council and we are hoping to have the approval process later this year be completed so that we can get shovels in the ground and start building homes for families. Well, I love to look up and see the stars at night. For Deborah, donating her time to help others was as intuitive as her art. Yeah, I feel like I've benefited so much from Victoria. I have two young kids and we spend a lot of time in the parks and trails and my, my life is uh, it's very rich and, and full. So if I can give back for all that I'm grateful for, I'm happy to do that. The decked outdoors will be on display at Mayfair Shopping Centre with bidding done online until May 23rd. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.